Hey, what's going on? It's Cherie Denise. And if you're new to the channel, I just want to say what's up, what's going on. Uh, put in the comments where you're from. And also, if you're a returning viewer, thank you for the support. I love you. I love all of y'all. God bless you. I pray you have an amazing day today. And don't let anybody steal your joy. Don't let anybody steal your peace, okay? Um, so I have experienced in, you know, my, my previous years, <laughs> um, issues with trusting people. Like my entire life, I had issues trusting people and, and solely because of what I observed growing up. And it was very hard and difficult coming into womanhood. And I just really had a hard time understanding who to trust, how to decide who to trust. And I wouldn't give anybody the benefit of the doubt. It just seemed like, you know, it, it, you, it was very limited. If you were in my circle, it was very limited. And I felt like, you know, it, it is something about you that allowed you to just be in my space. Okay, I'm serious about my space. And so I asked the Lord one day, I says, well, isn't, isn't it somewhere in the Bible that says trust no man? And this is before y'all was getting to my word. I think it was like 2016. And I, I Googled, like I used to do a lot, you know, what does the Bible say about trust, trusting people? And it took me to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse five, where it reads, you know, the Lord says, cursed is the man whose trust is in man and makes his flesh his, his strength. And it also reads, you know, whose heart departs from the Lord. And when I read that, it was just so clear to me that God is not saying don't trust people um, because you got to trust your spouse, right? You got to be able to trust um, your kids got to be able to trust you. And so as I read it, it made sense. You know, sometimes it just clicks. Sometimes you read scripture and it's like black and white, but because you're in a very gray season of your life, it just doesn't click. Okay. Like it's just, you don't get it. So when I read that, I was like, hmm, who makes his flesh, his strength. So I have been trusting in people who were relying on their own strength. Like their source of strength was not from God. And it was clear and evident. And so as I began to grow and meditate on that word, I said, wow, all these years, I have been opening a window. I've been opening the door for people to come on in and destroy and steal my joy and my peace. I don't want to experience that ever again. So then at that point, I became very selective with who I allowed in my circle. Okay. Um, when it comes to trusting people, and I'm going to leave you with this, it's so important as you continue to grow with the Lord that you are being obedient to what his word says. Okay. The Lord is not a man that he should lie. So when we look at his word, it is what it is. He says what he says. So if you find yourself struggling or having a hard time because you can't figure out the situation with this friend or with this significant other or why this boss is treating you this way, think about where their source of strength comes from. And you've been trusting them this whole time. That's why I'm very, you know, aware of when people say I'm self-made, self-made. Okay, I know, you know, it's a whole culture thing, 2020, 2021 word that people use. But if you look at someone who says that and they believe it in their heart, I wouldn't trust them because they think that they made themselves. They think that they have been the only one who has brought them to their level of success. Okay. So that's a whole nother video for another time. Back to the basics. If you are upset right now, if you're hurting or you, you are feeling some type of way confused, or you're trying to understand or wrap your head around a situation and you cannot just ask yourself, does the person you trust get their strength from the Lord? Do they not just know his word, but live in his word? Do they not just say they're a Christian, but not have their lifestyle reflect it? And then you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to continue to walk in ignorance? 
Or are you going to make a decision to move forward with the path that the Lord has laid out for you? And then repent. You know, the Lord has given us instruction in his word on who to trust, who not to trust. And what happens to the person who who trusts someone who makes his own flesh his own strength? It's right there in the word. So I pray this blesses someone. I, I pray this sets someone free who has been trying to wrap their head around the situation. Yes, we're supposed to love on people. Absolutely. But we're not supposed to be ignorant. We're supposed to use wisdom as we are growing and walking into who God has called us to be. So before you trust someone else, before you make somebody your everything, ask yourselves, where do they get their strength from? And you will have your answer. I pray this word blesses you. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Again, share this video with about four or five people. And um, I love y'all. Until next time, peace, love, and praise.